Hi, it's Owen on the 1st of June with a time of devotion and prayer. As we begin, I invite you to settle in, get comfortable, close your eyes softly, take a deep breath in through your nose, and let all your breath fall out with a long sigh. Give yourself the gift of stillness. It's God's breath that fills our lungs and it is in God that we live and move and have our being. So we remember that we're in God's presence now and for all time. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two, two laws hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write both these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech you. Please join me in saying a portion of Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God as my all my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs, they return to the earth. On that very day, their plans perish. Happy are those whose help is in the Lord of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. It's a reading from Romans. Paul writes, For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I speak to you on this day as the, the first of June. It's hard to believe that We've been living without access to each other and our worship space since the order on March 17th. I don't think I imagined that we would be this long in isolation. And it's hard. And, and today there was a, uh, a letter that came out from our provincial archbishop, the metropolitan of the ecclesiastical ecclesiastical province of Ontario, announcing that it will be at least the 1st of September before we can gather together in our buildings and our worship spaces to come together. And the suggestion is that we use this time as a time of rest, a sabbatical from the busyness that can be church. The separation is hard and the separation can lead us to despair, it can lead us to frustration, but our call is to remember that we live and have our being in God. In today's reading from Romans, Paul reminds us that there is nothing in all creation, human made, that can separate us from the love of God. 
I think that that can become a very simple prayer that we can remember all the time. Simply repeating, I am not separate from the love of God. I am not separate from the love of God. I'm thinking we can take it even further, saying, I cannot be separate from the love of God. I cannot be separate from the love of God. I cannot be separate from the love of God. Amen. As we settle into a time of contemplative prayer, meditative prayer, I invite you to sit tall and straight. Let your eyes close softly. Let your jaw relax. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And release that breath with a long, slow sigh. Bring all your awareness just to the breath. Allowing the breath as it is. No need to control it or change it. Begin to observe the flowing in of the breath, the flowing out of the breath. Simply watching. And as you're breathing in, say silently to yourself, thank you. And as you're breathing out, say silently to yourself, thy will be done. Breathing in and saying, thank you. Breathing out and saying, thy will be done. Making our breath itself our prayer. And as you're breathing in, begin to gather the names of those for whom you wish prayer. And as you're breathing out, offer those names to God, saying, Thy will be done. And add your own name to that list. As Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I bid you peace.